Hi, I'm Katie from the Queen Stitch, teaming up with Lovecrafts to teach you how to crochet in the round. We have a ton of tutorials available on our YouTube channel, from beginner to advanced, so if you love crafts, make sure you click subscribe today so you never miss a video. This video is for beginners. We're going to be covering the chain stitch, the double crochet, and the slip stitch. So if you're unfamiliar with any of those terms, feel free to click the link above to cover our crochet for beginners tutorial before beginning this tutorial. Let's get started. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet in the round and making an easy coaster pattern. To start crocheting in the round, you'll either be asked to make a magic loop or a chain loop. For this video I'm going to be doing a chain loop. So first things first, we need to make a slip knot. You can make a slip knot however you prefer, but this is how I do it. Little end over the working yarn, stick my fingers through the loop, and pull up, boop, slip knot. Stick your hook through the loop and pull tight. There we are. Because I'm using a chunkier yarn, I'm going to chain four. With smaller hooks and yarns in other patterns, you may be asked to chain less. But for this coaster, we're going to chain four. If I can get it, one, two, three, four. I've got four loops. Then I'm going to slip stitch into that first loop, which is insert, yarn over, and then you're gonna pull through both loops. So you can see that loop in there. So to start the first round, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And don't, don't be worried to sort of squidge your yarn about a bit. When you're working crochet in the, in the round, you always wanna make sure where the middle of your loop is. Right, you see it in there? Cause you know, it's easy to sort of mistake one of these other stitches for it. So our first round is gonna be double crochets and we want 12 double crochets, but our chain three counts as the first double crochet. So we really only want 12 more double crochets. And we're gonna work all of those in the center of the loop. Not here, not there, right in the center. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just gonna keep working those around till we have them all in there. So as you can already see, the main difference working in the round versus working flat is that you're working in a loop rather than across your chain loops. So one, two, three, four, five. I always get so chatty and then I forget what I'm doing and it's supposed to be a crochet tutorial and I feel like we're just having coffee, you know. Ah. Luckily, double crochet is easy to count because you can see the posts pretty clearly. So again, don't be afraid to sort of squidge about, see where you're at. So we've got our chain three, which is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if it's starting to get a little close, don't be afraid to slide your double crochets over the loop so that you can get your last one, two double crochets in. You can see that I have a long end here, just ignore it. We'll deal with that at the end. To close the round in crochet, you wanna slip stitch at the top of that three chain. So we're gonna do that, and you'll already see we've got a hoop. Are you excited? You've already learned how to crochet in the round. The rest of these rounds are just for fun. So we're gonna chain three, one, two, three. And generally in the round, the second, well, I'm, it's all rounds, you know. The second round is gonna have two double crochets in each stitch. So we had 12 here, so now we're gonna end with 24 stitches. So you can see where the chain was, so we're gonna work a double crochet into that same stitch. 
So moving over, we can see the top of this post here. You see how I'm just manhandling the yarn. It's totally fine to squidge it about to see what's happening. One, two. So now we've got four. And you can see if we lay it out that there's two double crochets for this one post. And we're gonna continue to do that around. Sometimes in patterns they'll ask you to spiral. And what that means is if you get to the end of your round here, and we slip stitch in the top of chain three, but in a spiral, you would just continue and it would almost look like a snail. Just something to be aware of, sometimes happens. But we have single crocheted, or sorry, slip stitched. We slip stitch in the top of our chain three. And now it's time to start the last round. So, because this is the third round, one, two, three, we start with our chain three just like normal, but the third round, we DC one, DC two. So in the first round, we just DC'd 12. I say DC, that means double crochet. That should be flashing on your screen at some points during this video. The second round is always two DC in each stitch, and the third round is almost always DC one, DC two. So what that looks like is we've got our chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. So in the next stitch, we need to double crochet two. In the next stitch, we need to double crochet one. Do you see a pattern emerging? I hope so. In the next stitch, double crochet two. So at the very end of our coaster, here, we want to do what we've been doing. Slip stitch in the top of that chain three, an additional chain to secure, cut with some of the extra yarn and pull it out. So we have what looks almost like a finished coaster, but we need to secure our ends. So taking your crochet hook, you're going to pull it through the top of one of the stitches and then back through and then we can turn it over so that the yarn ends are on the back and this is when we're going to weave it in. So I don't know if anyone has a standard way of weaving things in but I don't and I don't think you need one. All you need to do is make sure that you're securing the end by pulling it through the back of some of your crochet stitches two or three or four times, whatever makes you comfortable. Obviously with a fluffy yarn like this, you need to pull it a little bit to make sure that it won't drop and then you can just trim the ends. So I've got my big long one here, so we'll just shove your hook through, pull it through a couple of these, maybe double back, extra secure. Pull it a little so that it doesn't get lost, trim the end. Voila! Let's measure it to make sure that it's our standard four and a half. Oh, look at that consistency. And if it's not quite the measurements you want, you can always get it wet and stretch it a bit. And there you have it. Let me just clean up my workspace. Thanks for joining me, Katie, together with Lovecrafts on how to crochet in the round. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to learn more crochet skills, Feel free to check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel and click subscribe so you never miss a video. Until next time.